In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the Maps module. The Maps module allows you to add Google Maps with custom pins anywhere on your page using the Builder. For example, here's a Contact Us page that I've built. Let's say I want to add a full width map right above the contact form and below our header. Here's our page in the Builder. Now since I want to use uh, a full width map, I'm going to use uh, a full width section. The map comes both in full width and normal. So I'm going to click Add Full Width Section to add a section below our full width header. I'm going to click Insert Module and choose the Full Width Map Module. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is choose a basic center location. So if you have multiple pins on your map, you're going to want to say, say with, they're all within one city, you might want to choose your center of the map to be the center of the city or maybe you want to center on a certain pin. Um, the map center address lets you choose exactly where the map is centered. So in this case, I'm just going to type in San Francisco, California. And then you can click Find, and you can see the map automatically finds the address based on the address you enter. OK, so we've centered our map. Now we're going to add a new pin. At the top, you can see an Add New Pin button. Click that. You can choose a title for your pin. Call it Our Office. And then you can choose a pin address. You can just type in your address just like you always would. And then click Find. And there you go. It's found our office location here in San Francisco and added a pin to it. You can also choose to add some content, uh, which will appear on hover when you hover over the pin. So this is our office. We are open seven days a week. Please stop by. There we go. Save. There we go. I've added a pin to our map centered in San Francisco. I'm going to click Save and update. Now when we view our page, you can see a full width map has been added to our contact page, giving our visitors a clear idea where we're located. Now if you click on the pin, you can see that the info we added in the content area appears, and you can close that. So that's how you add a full width map. Now let's say instead of adding a full width map, I wanted to add a regular map right to the right of our uh, contact form here instead of adding this other information about our physical location. So let's go back to our page builder and I'm going to remove uh, this map and I'm going to remove these. No longer need those. And since I want the map to be uh, one half width, I'm going to add a new row and choose one half, one half for my columns. Then take that contact form, put it over there, get rid of this row. So now I have my contact form on the left in a one half column, and I'm going to put our map on the right in a one half column. Click Insert Modules, and then you're going to look for the map module. Select it. Just like before, choose your center address. Click Add New Pen. Whoops, put it in the wrong <laughs> box there. Add it to the map pin address. Click Find. It's going to find it. And uh, you can add a title as well. Our office, just like before. We are open seven days a week. Save. There we go. I've added a new pin. Let's try adding a second pin. You can click Add New Pin again. Maybe we have two offices. <laughs> and this new office is on mm, Market Street and 3rd Street. There we go. It finds the address at Market and 3rd here in San Francisco. This is our other location. Save. Now we got two pins. 
scroll down, you can see they've both been added to our map. I'm going to save and update and take a look at what we got. Now you can see a map has been added in a one half column to the right of your contact form. And that's a basic overview of using the maps module.